Americans believe in their families, children, and communities. The best hope for the future is the well-being of Ohio's families. Ohio will be a place where families can build upon their heritage and culture, feel secure in the present, and reach for the future. Families will accept responsibility for meeting their needs. Ohioans will develop to their full potential, and communities will support and build upon the strengths of the residents. And our aim is to make an unprecedented commitment to one priority that I believe ranks above all others, the health and education of our children. The family the single most important unit of our society. The family has always been and continues to be a number one priority of the Voinovich administration. Like society itself, the family is ever changing. Yeah, I've got the traditional family, you know, the, the quote Ozzy and Harry family, mom, dad, uh, three kids that are grown and gone to college and so forth. That's wonderful, but the family is where there are loving people that are caring for children, whether they are the parents, and we hope they're the parents, uh, but are, they can be foster parents, they can be relatives, uh, they can be just good people that have taken uh, young kids in to try and provide a safety net and comfort for them. The family is where there is love, where there is caring for children. The confusing maze of education and social service programs designed to assist parents and their children often winds up overwhelming them. In an effort to eliminate this confusion and make Ohio's programs more user-friendly, the Voinovich administration created the Ohio Family and Children First Initiative. Simply put, the Family and Children First Initiative is about listening to and respecting parents, cutting red tape, and avoiding bureaucratic overlap. It's seeing that more resources go to the people who need them and less to the system. There's a lot of red tape, there's a lot of paperwork that we don't have time for because we're taking care of our kids. I have a child with a developmental delay. Where do I go for support? Where do I go to get therapy? Um, what's available to my family in the way of support and in the way of counseling? Where can I get funding for all of these services that, um, that I'm going to need for my child? In order to tackle these problems, the Ohio Family and Children First Initiative has established six goals, which deal with providing basic health, safety, educational, and economic opportunities for Ohio families. But where to start? The initiative chose to begin at the beginning, placing its highest priority on the healthy birth of a child and the needs of Ohio youth and their families during childhood. In setting its initial objectives, the initiative recognizes that cooperation between health and social service agencies and schools is essential to establishing strong services for families, so more children enter Ohio schools ready to learn. To enhance this cooperation, the initiative recognizes that its design must be homegrown. To help obtain grassroots input, the Ohio United Way helped the Family and Children First Initiative organize a series of roundtable discussions in communities across Ohio. When the call went out for county partners for the initiative, 64 of Ohio's 88 counties voluntarily applied. A total of 13 counties, reflecting an urban, rural, and geographic mix, were selected as pilot sites. Keeping the locally controlled design context in mind, county partners have been asked to work with the state in accomplishing the following initial objectives. To assure more Ohio children have access to high-quality preschool and child care programs. By expanding early health and development programs, and by making Head Start programs and subsidized daycare more available to families wishing to enroll their children. The Ohio Family and Children First Initiative is looking at other areas of duplication and unnecessary red tape as well. A prime example of this 
is the process by which counties apply to the state for program funding for multiple-need children. What once required this 21-page form plus backup material now can be accomplished by this one-page form. This Educare Center in Lucas County is another example of what the Ohio Family and Children First Initiative can and is doing to help meet the needs of Ohio families. Under this one roof, we will have a range of services that are compassionate, collaborative, cooperative, and as intensive as the child and the family need. Ultimately, the Ohio Family and Children First Initiative recognizes that services must be judged by the improvements they make to people's lives. As a society, we can no longer afford to allow individual health and social service systems to operate in an independent vacuum, resulting in overlapping and sometimes counterproductive programs. We must develop a more cost-effective, family-friendly system. While the Ohio Family and Children First Initiative remains a work in progress, the blueprint is being drawn. And so is the governor's line in the sand to save the next generation of Ohio children. My father's uh, mother died when he was six and there were four boys. One of them died in an orphanage. Uh, uh, these people took in three of the kids and uh, they only kept my father. Had it not been for these people who weren't even related, they knew my father's father who was kind of a, you know, travel the country. But if it hadn't been for the fact that they'd provided a home for my father and, and looked after him and loved him and made sure that he went to church and went to school, uh, my father would not have amounted to what he amounted to. Uh, I'll never forget that um, his brother, and kind of hard to talk about it, but we got a call from the uh, uh, people in Los Angeles County and said that will you send money to bury him. He was, uh, he was homeless he, and he died there on the streets of Los Angeles. And what was the difference? The difference was that my dad had somebody that took care of him and loved him and took care of him and his brother somewhere along the line got lost in the cracks so and nobody took care of him. And my father went to college, had six children was successful. His brother didn't have the love, didn't have the family, and he ended up uh, on Skid Row in, in Los Angeles. When they put me in the in the sod uh, there on my deathbed, I want to be able to look back and say, hey, I did everything that I could to try and make a difference in the lives of, of these children.